Hi everyone, so video 61 is going to be a quick walkthrough of uh, LVMs, logical volume managers over RAID zeros. So RAID zero being the way in which we can store data in striped fashion across multiple disks. Um, what I want to show you is there's been some significant improvements in version 20.0 of Expo Forensics, which uh, may indeed help a little bit with this particular task. So what I'm going to do is add some sample forensic images, the actual um, images of virtual disks from a Linux system which I've created. So there's three virtual um, virtual disks which were each uh, a gigabyte in size uh, to the virtual machine and then I used MD Adam to create a software RAID over those disks and then I added a, an LVM volume of 2.7 gig over the top of it. So firstly, uh, a, a quick kind of refresher for those that might need it on um, uh, RAIDs and Expose Forensics. So what Expose Forensics will do for each forensic image you've added of a disk that's part of a RAID, it will give you some information here in the type column, but it will also give you these yellow post-it notes, which crucially at the bottom there tells you the strip size and sectors and also the component position of the particular disk in the RAID. So zero means this is the first part of the RAID, on this one it says 2 which in this particular case means it was the third one in the RAID and this one it says 1 which means it's the second component in the RAID so uh, yeah so just to confuse matters a little bit the the order is not as per named so uh, if I just go and reconstruct this in a way that we would traditionally so level 0 i.e. RAID 0 is there um, and if I add disk 1 as the first component in the RAID, disk 3 as the second component in the RAID, and disk 2 as the third component in the RAID. You might, In case you missed it, the numbering there is done like that because the yellow post-it note was reporting to me the order of these specific drives in the RAID. And strip size is 1024. So that will hopefully reconstruct the RAID, which it does, and it says that it's 3 gig in size. Uh, However, it's not showing any kind of partition information or anything like that at the moment. So if I just, and if I also just um, show that, you know, there's not a lot going on here straight away. And if I um, open the, the full volume fully, it, it's not giving me any notable kind of partition data at this point. So if I just cheat at this stage and use... Um, the scan for lost partitions, uh, the ready EXT partitions on this system, so that's what I'm going to scan for, and very quickly you can see it's found some extra partition information, which, and it's 2.7 gig, which is the size of my LVM container, and that's the file system that was on it. So if I now explore this partition, it will show me the files within it. So here are some just, uh, you know, three pictures which I found on the internet and a small text file in there. Um, so that is essentially a really simple rebuild of a RAID 0 with LVM uh, uh, farm, uh, L logical volume management, management across it. Now another way to do this in case this first pass doesn't actually work which in earlier versions of Xbox Forensics it may well not. Um, another way to do it is as follows. So if I just go back to these for a moment, you'll see that each one has got a partition listed, like so. And you'll see that it says it's type MD RAID container. So if I just uh, open these partitions for a moment, you'll see that you get MD RAID container now in the name section. Uh, if I do the same in this one and the same in this one, they all have it. So now when I go to Specialist Reconstruct RAID System, rather than using the physical disks, I can use the logical uh, representation, which is the recommended way of doing this uh, uh, with x Waste Forensics. So again, if I do it in the same order, but this time using the logical representation, again using 1024, I get a more complete picture than what I got earlier um, if, it sounds like if I just uh, add for a moment this might make things go wrong oh yeah okay um, 
Okay, so anyway, you get all the information that you need there, and if I now explore this, you will see that it shows the same information as well. So there's effectively a couple of different ways in which you can reconstruct LVM over RAID 0. Um, and if the first way that I showed you doesn't work, uh, the first thing to do would be to check the strip size or stripe size. Uh, and if that still doesn't resolve it, then look at adding the logical partitions as identified in the raw forensic images and then reconstruct your RAID in a logical fashion, i.e. in this section here, rather than the physical section, of it, rather than in the physical section. Um, Okay, hopefully that was helpful. I appreciate it was fairly quick, but um, uh, I'm a bit pushed for time. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.